You can certainly make beautiful applications with WPF. By now, pretty much everyone has seen a demo, a video, an article with screenshots showing absolutely beautiful work. In some cases, that work comes from a lot of dedicated, patient tweaking by designers. But often, if you talk to the designers, they'll tell you that they used a theme to get a consistent and beautiful look throughout their application. But applying a theme at the moment is a hand done step. You have to edit your XAML. Unless you use this little free add-in called WPF Theme Selector, which you can get from CodePlex. And it kind of solves that last mile problem by connecting your theme, which maybe you wrote yourself, but more realistically you got from the internet somewhere, into your application. So here I am in Visual Studio and I've written a very, very simple WPF application with just a handful of controls, a label, a checkbox, a text box, and a button. And it looks pretty plain Jane. It looks just like all the Windows Forms apps I make. Uh, I used to make a lot of gray boxes on a gray background and these days I just make them on a white background. Uh, it doesn't really make them that much more glamorous. But I'm going to apply a theme and start this application on the road to getting a lot nicer to look at. So I'm going to stop debugging and I need a, a Windows Explorer open to my project files and this is a really easy way to get one. I just right click the tab and choose open containing folder. I need to copy some things in here. Over here I have some themes that I downloaded from CodePlex and I'll have the URLs for you in a moment. You can see there's all kinds of them with uh, typically colors in their names because often there be several variants of the same thing. I'm going to use the rough green and there's a file in here called theme.xaml, which I'm simply going to copy into my project directory. I'm also going to go into the demo here. I need to grab a DLL, which is the WPF Toolkit DLL. It kind of makes these themes work nicely. So I'm pasting that into my sample application. So then back in Visual Studio, I can add a reference, I'll browse add it to that WPF Toolkit DLL that I just added. I can also go Add Existing Item, change this type here to XAML, and add this theme.xaml into the project. Life's just a little simpler if all the XAML you're using is in your project and not being referenced from elsewhere. With those two things underway, I can go on the Tools menu, and because I've installed the WPF Theme Selector, it will ask me which theme I'd like to use. It's called theme.xaml. I apply it, I just have to reload the designer and then when I run the application, it comes up with a very, very different look than that plain uh, boxes on a white background that I had before. And if I can also show you in that demo debugs folder, there is a little application to show you what these many themes all look like. This one's expression dark. Let's go find that rough green. Very different look. Uh, shiny purple and so on. And these are the exact same controls, the exact same WPF code. All that's changing is applying a different theme. As you can see, there's obviously a code way to apply theme, and there's a static way with the uh, with this add-in that you can apply themes to your own project uh, simply using the WPF theme selector. The WPF theme selector is on CodePlex. You can also get themes from the community and themes from the WPF team on CodePlex using these URLs and really make your WPF applications start to look like WPF applications.